Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are going to be doing a try on from Pretty Little Thing. Now I have never ever shopped from Pretty from Pretty Little Thing before, so I have no idea what to expect as far as quality, as far as sizing, as far as any of that stuff is concerned. What was the pricing of all of this stuff? I cannot remember as far as the pricing is concerned. Hold on. I purchased nine things. It does not tell me my total. But things are around 20, 24, 17, so not too bad as far as like not the cheapest, but not the most expensive. So kind of like mid-range as far as the pricing is concerned, which isn't bad. And they do offer free returns, free exchanges, no shipping. The shipping is on them, which is cool. You do have to pay $6.99 in shipping though for it to come to you. And I also wanted to mention, since I'm talking about shipping right now, oh my gosh, it took like 14 business days to get to me. Like it was stuck in customs forever. And I know it's nothing against Pretty Little Thing, but I did just want to mention that this is the first time I've ever experienced anything like this. So I hope that customs releases my Boohoo order soon because they released this one. So anyways, I couldn't show you that side, it had my address. So this is what the bag looks like. Um, it has unicorns on it, which I didn't even notice. It was my daughter who was like, mommy, I love your unicorn bag. And I was like, what are you talking about? I don't have a unicorn bag. And I was like, oh, those have unicorns on them. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I pulled, I'm gonna pull these out first. And I have to say, these do not look anything like they did on the website because when I saw them on the website y'all they were bright bright blue these look like a, a light denim to me they don't look like a colorful jean which is exactly what I was going for so I'm kind of already a little disappointed on that not gonna lie these are size 22 I wish that they had this the um no, I think I got these in a size 24 because it says 26 and since it's a UK brand, I believe UK 26 is a US 24. Um, the quality is okay. It's kind of thin. It's not the best. There's no pockets in the front. There are pockets in the back. I do wish they had pricing on it, but let's go ahead and try these babies on. Oh, it's a US 22, y'all. Sorry. So 20, uh-oh. They're not very stretchy, so I don't know if they're gonna fit. We're gonna try them on though. Yeah, no, these, these don't fit. Like at all. They are, let me just pull the camera back, hold on. They are extremely tight right here through the thigh and they, there's no way that they are zipping up. So I guess I should have went up to a size 24 um, these are huge, huge thumbs down already because I was already kind of pissed off about the whole coloring because these looked way different and way brighter online. Um, I want to say that even the bag says, yeah, it says plus bright blue. This is not a bright blue in my opinion high-waisted, super stretch skinny jeans. They're not super stretchy either, so huge thumbs down on this one. So next I'm gonna try on these faux leather burgundy. I think that they were supposed to be wine, but they're definitely more of a burgundy. Yeah, it says plus wine, belt detail trousers. So these are also a size 22, and I'm thinking that these aren't going to fit either. These to me are just, they're not good quality at all. I've gotten some faux leather pants from Fashion Nova, which are exceptional quality. They're not like this fake, like, I mean, they're fake, of course. They're faux leather. But this one is just like shiny and it's just like cheaper. And it's almost like that. Do you guys remember like the big bulky windbreakers back in the 90s that wrappers would wear? This is what that reminds me of, that material. Just not my favorite. I don't know. We'll try it on and we'll see. Okay, I can't try them on with anything other than me. I mean, I could, but I don't have anything from Pretty Little Thing to try on with this. So, we're just going to have to work with what I have on. As you can see, I got them up, but guys, there is no way. Uh-uh. 
They're way too noisy. They scrunch down at the bottom, which is normal for me. I'm 5'4". Not a huge fan of the belt. It seems like it's going to keep just like... Like it's not going to stay together. We will see. Got, where did this come from? It's like a bright green. But yeah, I don't know. Not a fan. Just not a fan at all. Do you guys see how these even look like here and on my legs? Okay, one thing I will say that UK companies do really well are dresses and shirts. But I've noticed, especially even with Boohoo, their pants aren't my favorite. They just, they don't, they don't do anything for my curves. I usually have to size up like two more sizes. And when they do fit, they're kind of like this, especially with these pull-up pants. I don't know, I just haven't had much luck when it comes to pants with UK brands, um, but we're going to try on a bunch of dresses and fingers crossed we have much more luck with the dresses than we've had with the pants so far. So this right here I would totally think was a shirt. I'm kind of a little worried about this, not going to lie. This is a, snakes, a snake print corset mini dress. It doesn't seem like it's that stretch material. Like it's, I don't know, like it's super thin and almost kind of silky. It's not what I'm used to when it comes to like a midi dress or like a sleeveless dress or, okay, pretty little thing, like dang. <laughs> Can't even take that thing off, okay. All right, um, okay, so yeah let's see it's a us 3x let's see if we can get into this i'm not sure how this is gonna it's the the fabric is just so thin i just i don't know let's try it on so i was hating on it but y'all this is this is cute i really like this i'm just when it comes to body cons i'm just so used to having like very stretchy like very stretchy material that I was just like I don't know if I'm gonna like this one thing I will say that I really love is like just this whole silhouette around the boob I think that just makes the tube top sleeveless strapless dress just like a little more interesting and adds just a little more like prettiness to it I don't know and then this is what it looks like in the back I really, really like this a lot. I love the length. It has a split in the back. It's actually very comfortable. And even though it's not that super stretchy material that we're used to when it comes to a bodycon, it's still, it's still comfortable. It's still like, it's light. It's breathable. This is something perfect for the summer, which I know here in the U.S., we are not experiencing, but I do have some Aussie fans, so hey, like, you guys are entering summer right now. So whoever it was that asked about dresses, girl, you need this dress. Like, yes. I'm, like, even considering, like, I mean, heck, I would, I would throw a little duster over this, which, by the way, this duster also came from Pretty Little Thing. And I got this particularly just so I could show you how I love to wear dresses in the winter and fall. So this is a US 20 and this is the Black Plus Maxi Duster. Crap, does that mean it's not going to go to the floor, right? Because I don't like when they go to the floor. Uh-oh. We'll say we're seeing some strings, which is kind of normal, I've noticed, for dusters, especially this, this, um, this material. But it has a cuff, but it just doesn't seem like it kind of wants to stay in the cuff. But, oh, the only thing that's missing is pockets. But how cute is this? This is perfect. It's the perfect, perfect length to go over any kind of dress or, yeah, any kind of dress <laughs> or skirt. That's what I was going to say. So, loving this look, but if you are entering summer, girl, 
even right now, I could go out right now wearing this dress. I need somewhere to go. But, yes. I feel really good in this dress, if you can't tell. Like, I'm like, I was hating on it at first. Like, uh-uh. And then, oh, I want to mention, too, that it does have the um, silicone, like, all around. So, I would have no worries about this dress, like, falling down or anything like that. I am here for it. And the snake print is just gorgeous. Hey, guys. So, I know I wanted to pop on here real quick. I know that we are doing the pre little thing haul, but I wanted to pop on here real quick and tell you that I... Just dropped a collection on 1111. So link is down below if you guys are interested. I just want to show you real quick. We've got two different styles of tumblers, both stainless steel, both exceptional quality. I am in love and obsessed with both of these so much. I especially love this one. It's my favorite, of course. Um, but yeah, stainless steel, 20 ounces. It's going to keep your coffee hot. If you want to put soup in here, it's going to keep your soup hot. If you want to put water in here, it's going to keep your water, your smoothies cold. <laughs> it's going to keep that stuff cold. It's going to keep the stuff you want hot, hot. It's going to keep the stuff you want cold, cold. And I also have this necklace, which is exceptional quality. I mentioned it in my last video um, that I have been wearing this for like four weeks. It is not turned green. If anything's going to turn green, it's going to turn green on me. Trust me, I've had my fair share of green uh, ears, green fingers, green wrists, green neck, like all that stuff. So I have tested this through all conditions, sweating, working out, um, showers, and I normally don't do that. I normally won't wear my jewelry to, you know, work out or shower in, but I really wanted to test this and make sure that it's really not going to tarnish or going to turn your green, turn you green, and it's not. So standing behind that, it is exceptional quality. And also, of course, my crop tops, which I'm going to pop some pictures up. But the link is down below for you guys to go purchase. It is available for seven days only. So once everything is gone, it is gone. If you like something, go ahead and grab it because, again, we are not doing this again. We are not doing this design again. We are not doing this design again. Um, none of that. So if you want something, go grab it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Now let's get back into our pretty little thing haul. We're two for one, two for one. Let's make this, the rest of this haul amazing. We're gonna go with this because it is such a gorgeous color. It is the emerald green ribbed tortoise button detail mini dress. Um, set size 26, so I'm assuming that is, again, a US 22. Oh, oh, y'all. I thought this was going to be a little thicker. It's kind of thin. Maybe it won't be see-through. Because, you know, I don't really care for things that are, like, super thick. I just don't know how it's going to look on my body. We'll see. We'll try it on. Okay, so this is a pretty color. It's just okay. The quality is eh. I do like the fact that it has the little buttons on the sleeves. That's a cute little added detail. So it's not just, like, super plain. Um, it is ribbed. It does kind of accentuate all of this going on. Um, I love the buttons on the side and then the slit on the side. I do wish it was a tad bit shorter, like maybe up to here. That's kind of like where I feel my perfect length is. I mean, other than that, it's just, it's okay. I mean, it doesn't make me feel good. It doesn't make me feel like I look my best. It's just kind of basic. And basic's not bad, but all right. Next we have this black dress, which is a black glitter dress. Ruched midi size 22. Um, it's ruched on the side, which is nice because it's very, like, it's more forgiving especially around your tummy area when you have something that's ruched and it is a square neckline. So I think I'm really going to like this a lot. So yes, it's also the, the fabric is actually glitter. It's not like a glitter overlay. So the glitter is not going everywhere, which I can totally appreciate. Um, now we're going to talk about this dress. It's great. I think it's very figure flattering, but I'm just kind of feeling like it's not my favorite. Like I love a good black dress. But I just, I feel like it's almost like, I don't know, because I really, I really love the square neck. I love the ruching on the bottom, or on the side. 
I don't I don't know what it is. I'm just kind of like, eh, it's okay. It's not my favorite. I have more black dresses that I like better. It's just, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I think it's because it's more of a dressier dress, and I'm kind of used to more casual black dresses. I think that's what it is. But for what it is, which is a dressier, kind of more special occasion dress, this is a really good dress. That's that's exactly what it is. So disregard everything that I said. It's very figure flattering. It's very pretty. I really love it's not itchy. It's not scratchy. Anything like that. The glitter is not going to come off. It's shiny. This is that perfect black dress for a special occasion. So Looks like we have, no, this is a blazer dress in the color emerald green. I'm excited for this one. I'm also, not going to lie, a little nervous. Because I'm like, oh, is it going to fit? Oh, no, we're going to see. Um, are you serious right now? Like, what? Y'all, no. What is going on? Okay, no. Like, where are you supposed to wear this to? Why is there not a button right here? And why does this button end right here? Like, <laughs> what? This is a big no. I guess you're supposed to wear something underneath it. But this is just completely, no. Like for a blazer dress, I don't think that's how it looked on the internet. Like I need to pull up a picture and show you what it looked like on the model versus me. But you guys, literally, this is where the button ends and then you just know you are very very exposed in this and then you also have pockets that aren't pockets it's literally just a flap this is a big flop for me like no it's a waffle print the fabric is really thin which I'm not mad at but this why don't you have a button all right okay we're going to try this really pretty mauve dress. It is a plus rose, well, excuse me, it's not mauve, it's rose. Um, long sleeve pleated midi dress, size US 3X. Okay, so I feel real dumb right now. I went ahead and I put on um, my clothes back on, but I was like looking at this again and I realized that I put it on wrong. So... There are two buttons, but I still don't know that it's going to make a difference as far as like the length of it, but we will see. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's still, well, there we go. Now it's not completely open, so that's good, but it's still a little too short, I feel. This makes more sense. But yeah, again, still way too short because it's literally like right here, you guys. Like right here. This is where the button ends. But kind of give you a little bit of a visual. It does make more sense now that this is now closed. Duh. And it does look a lot cuter. But like I said, still kind of a little too short. And I feel like you'll be flashing people with this thing with the way that the buttons are not. I feel like it needs one more button. I don't know. It's a little too short. This is unfortunately a big no. This, I don't know, it's like the top looks big. It looks very frumpy on me. But then you also, of course, still have this, which again is normal for me when it comes to a wrap style dress. The sleeves, I don't know. I almost feel like I'm a little girl trying on my mom's dress. Like, I just, I don't know. The sleeves are too long. This is just too, I don't know. This is not. And then the fabric is kind of rough. Like, it's not soft. It's not, I don't know. Do people like Pretty Little Thing? Just wondering. Because, like I said, this is my first experience with them, and... I'm not super impressed with what I've tried on so far. I don't know. This this is this is a big no. A big no. I love the pleats though. 
We can just take the top off and just have this as a skirt here for it. But it's just something about the top that's just too big. I guess I need to size down. Um, but I honestly feel like if I size down, it wouldn't fit. I don't know. Whatever. We have one last thing. And this is another glitter dress. I want to say, no, this is, this is different than the, than the black one. Because this is like a, it says it's a frill dress. So, oh, how pretty. Okay, it's like ruffly and stuff. So, we'll try it on. It's a very... Very interesting. It's not an interesting color. It's just a very hard color to wear all the way through. But fingers crossed because that is a cute dress. Real cute. This is really, really cute. And I really, really love this. I need this in black because this is incredibly see-through. But this dress, yes. Like I said, always with this right here not a surprise but I am loving this whole ruffly bit right here where it starts here and it goes down and it's roughly on the bottom and yes you're gonna see my black underwear but we'll just deal with it um yeah this dress I like a lot like I said it is obviously see-through and kind of a little I do a little work right there but one thing I will say is that it is that glittery fabric again, and it is a little rougher up top, but on the inside, it's really not like super soft, like, oh my gosh, it's so soft, but it's soft. So it's not like super, um, so it's not scratchy in any way. So I need to see that they have this in black because this white is just not doing it for me because it's like too see-through, but this silhouette, I'm here for it. Okay, so my final thoughts on Pretty Little Thing. I think my face says it all. My favorite was the snake print dress, um, which I didn't think I was gonna love. The pants, huge fail. The blazer dress, huge fail. Um, the black dress, was it was pretty, but like I said, it was just like um, more for, you know, a, 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 a more formal event. The duster, I don't think it was the best quality. It was just okay. The pink dress, big no. This dress is beautiful, but see-through. Um, and I think that was everything. The snake print dress, bomb. Love it. Yes. As far as, like, quality of everything, I kind of actually feel that... She, like it's kind of like she and Shein quality, but Shein prices are way cheaper. So I mean, you want to give it a try. It's one of those things that you know I, I feel like I definitely had way more misses than I had hits. But it's a ginormous website with, and I only picked out nine things, so I can't really judge based on that alone I feel like I need to explore them a little bit more and if you guys would in the comments down below let me know what are your thoughts on Brio Thing have you shopped there before what are your favorite things to get from them do they maybe do summer fashion better than they do fall fashion do you think that they do good with their fall fashion am I just being too picky let me know in the comments down below if you guys are new here I would love if you would subscribe stick around I do fashion videos at least once a week or I try to at least. And that'll do it for this video. I love you guys. I hope that you have an amazing day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.